It's time for a CNC Nuts Top Tip. If you're anything like me, you like to get value for money out of the stock that you've got. Now when I need to cut something on a piece like this here, I need to know that my cut is going to fit here, preferably before I cut it and find that it doesn't. Fortunately, there's an easy way of doing that. Notice these purple lines on Mac 3. The intersection of these indicates where the cutter is currently sitting. If I jog my router, I can see where the cutter is. If I go outside the boundary of my cut, a red line appears. This is true in both the X and the Y direction. I can then look at my stock and see how it goes. I brought my cutter in and put it at the zero point. Now I'm going to start navigating around my stock here and compare it to the picture on Mac 3 and see how it bears out. See if I go outside my stock when I'm sitting on the outer edges of my drawing. So we'll start by going this direction here. We're just outside the boundary of my drawing, so that's good. Likewise, I'm good here. I'm going to go here. That's good. I'm within the boundary of my stock there. At this point here, that's the furthest point I need to go this way here. I'm going to come down, and this is the extreme of the bottom. I'm outside here, but that's not a problem because I'm not actually cutting there. I'm going to be cutting this low down at about this point here. So again, I will easily fit my cut on this piece of stock. Let's give it a go. And as you can see, it fits on the stock. If you've got a top tip you'd like to share, why not drop us an email to the address shown on the screen below. I'll make a short video clip and give you name credit. That way, we all get to learn. In the meantime, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.